Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Blog Center, the home of Nigerian and African boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. So I'm not dropping you banger, a new exclusive video will definitely be notified. Well, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news, and of course, big upset. Uh, Mike Polite Coffee. Um, has been knocked out by Jonathan Rice, you know. Uh, if you guys know anything about Jonathan Rice, uh, Jonathan Rice is the same guy. If Ajabba fought with a shoulder injury, Ajabba almost stopped him, you know, with a devastating right hand. And against Ajabba, Jonathan Rice didn't stand a chance, despite Ajabba being injured. Okay, that that's to show you how how great of Ajabba is and how good it really is. In terms of that, Jabba can fight through so many diversities he, with injuries. He fight through it. Dr. Rice, I will tell you one thing though. The guy came in game, okay? He was uh, a, a late replacement because the actual uh, opponent, you know, who, um, was uh, Gerald Washington, whom I think Michael Coffey could have probably beaten, okay? We know Gerald Washington is no longer what he what he was i think um you know ever since he got beat listen he, he, he got he recently got beat by charles martin and that tells you the level so my coffee was moving in a slow good pace before and he was even uh, given the chance to fight on the water fury on the card trilogy and he, he turned it down and his management uh, took another other decision because they wanted to build his name to be a solo guy. And Malkovi can come back from this, although I didn't like what I saw. And the disadvantage he has is that he's already 35 years old. So at, at, at age 35, you know, how long do you really have uh, to really be, make an impact in the Edward division? You know, so Director Reznor has... 14 wins on his record and you know six losses two via knockouts you know we know that he got uh, stopped uh in 2019 um, by uh, aslanbek mahmudov um, a russian heavyweight uh, prospect who is very 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 dangerous in fact let's take a look at that knockout right here and uh yeah let's take a look at that knockout right here you know i would love to see that um Mahmoud of um uh knockout of Jonathan Rice and let's see how it happens. Close up. I mean it's a long way to go, but he is he is close up. I mean it's a long way to go. Uh, Jonathan in the school in the Jasan so Rak Musok Kazir Karslaska da Dar in the Gin Je Aslan Big Wanna Slop Salda Magdown Mini in the so you guys saw it um aslan big you know he the way he the way he threw that punch janta rice didn't see come in janta rice was barely unknown at that point and um it wasn't really like i think he was he was out of shape in the fight compared to i think ever since he had that fight against uh Ajagba, he's kind of um gotten motivated to you know to get better you know you can see right here uh he weighed 268 okay a uh, pounds michael coffee weighed around 271 how can you be an anyway weight and weigh 271 when you are not uh naturally like of course it's natural big guy but at the same time when like you are not a natural skillful boxer because Michael Coffey is to me a, a brawler, but a brawler with a very high rank IQ. Okay, his last fight really showed that he has some sort of sneaky uppercut that he throws that just gets you like what well, you know, kind of amazed in a way. So, uh, I, I, you know, if you also look at uh, Efia Jagba. Um, performance against uh, Michael Coffey. Let's take a look at Ajagba's right hand, you know, the way, when he landed on Michael Coffey. Uh, on um, 
Jonathan Rice. Sorry, guys. So you see here, Ajabo, Warburton, Mike, uh, 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 Jonathan Rice, you know, and if Ajabo didn't have a shoulder injury, he would have taken Ajabo Rice. It was a 10 run, 10 run fight. A lot of people said Ajabo, you know, wasn't himself, like he, he, he wasn't imp impressive in a way, forgetting that he, he sustained an injury that fight. Ajabo had to go for a surgery after this fight to get, to get, to get, you know, to get everything fixed. And uh, you know, after 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 all, you know he, he you know after the the, the surgery, uh, elbow injury or shoulder injury, whatsoever injury, Ajabo was not right. Okay, at that time, you know, and he, you know we see what he after that. You know, saw what he did against Brian Howard. You know, he came back with. Of, uh, you know, of vengeance. You know, came out with vengeance. Came out with with with, uh, with with a certain determination that you cannot even explain. You know, and that's what really makes it uh it special. Now, looking at the uh Jonathan Rice um versus Michael Coffey fight, how uh uh, uh Jonathan Rice stopped Michael Coffey. Let's take a look at it right here, and then. Uh, it's very important that we take a look at it and then from there when I, we would then proceed you know he in giving our 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 take you know on a, analyzing the fight and seeing how my coffee can bounce back when they can bounce back you know, by the way i have my brother right here in with, here with me uh ty ajabe who is eagerly ready to speak on this right here close up i mean it's a long way to go but he is he is starting to do damage to coffee's face Coffee, I don't know if he can lift up that hand or what, but he just shouldn't get these right hand punches. Look at his just, combinations. It's like he can't see the right hand coming. I tell you, right now, Johnny Rice looks like Buster Douglas. <laughs> I mean, right now, he's just like throwing these three punch combinations. You're saying, where is that coming from? A right hand by Johnny Rice. Wow, and he's asked by the referee, are you all right? Another right hand hurts Coffee. Coffee yeah. getting chopped down. Now he's hurt. Yeah. Coffee is hurt. He's it's over. Wow. It's over. It's over. Johnny Rice pulls off the upset. Good. Eric Dolly didn't like what he saw with the eye. Coffee turned away for a moment. And Johnny Rice with the night of his life. For all the best boxers. Well, a good stoppage. Uh, that was a good stoppage by uh, Jon uh, Jonathan Rice uh, over Michael Coffee. At the same time, you can tell that both of them were tired, you know, already tired. And uh, both of them could have taken uh, each other out. But at the same time, I think Michael Coffey's gas tank is very poor. It showed that he cannot really handle pressure. It was being, it was being pressured by uh, 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 Jonathan Rice. Michael Coffey couldn't really defend himself. He, go, he gassed out. And the rest is history. The, re the rest is history, as you've seen it. Uh, let's go around here. Uh, Ta Ajagwe to give his take. On this right right year and uh, what what he makes of you know of uh, Jonathan uh, Rice and what I think what I think my coffee will bounce back or not my coffee is already 35 years old so the time uh, the time is no is not really there like that you know at that age um, Jonathan uh, Rice is 34 years old uh, I think he's beginning to get his. This is like I, I don't want to compare it to, re, re, uh, you know, uh, Buster Douglas, uh, Mike Tyson, because Mike Coffey is not is not Mike Tyson. That's a fact. Okay, but this is like a big upset. You know, um, Jonathan Rice fought like my uh, Buster Douglas. You know, <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> against someone who who was the favorite to win. Of course, Mike Coffey. You know, um, yeah, it's just. This is what it is, man. I hope he bounces back. I like Michael Coffey, though. He's very respectful, okay? Um, of course, he, you know, he's a guy that, you know, speak a lot of sense. At the same time, the hype was just, especially when I watched his interview on uh, on the boxing voice, the hype was just like crazy, man, <laughs> in the way. But uh, next of the boxing voice, my Coffey, no doubt. He's a good, uh, he's a good boxer, but and he bounced back. That's the thing. And looking at his performance, Ajabo's performance with Mike Coffee's performance, what do you make of all this, bro? Like, Ajabo should get more credit, right? 
Yeah, absolutely. You know what? Um, I watched the fight again, and uh, that was uh, pre-pandemic. Um, you know, that was like when everything's starting to settle back, and you know, not a lot of sparring partners were available, not a lot of preparations went to that fight. Having the job of being able to do what he did against my coffee is is okay to me. It's not the best because I'm still, I, I still haven't rated Michael, Michael, uh, Michael Kofi. Uh, I still haven't rated J- Jonathan Rice himself, you know, um, because just because he beat a 35 year old, Michael Kofi doesn't mean anything. Michael Kofi, you know, I started to believe in the hype. You know, I thought he was a decent boxer at least. He was working his way up. Unfortunately, it got derailed. Now, a lot of things can happen in the heavyweight division. And these are one of the things, you know, Never go in there and estimate. Never go in there and estimate your opponent. You have to go in there and fight your opponent as if he's trying to steal your very last meal. That's that's the way you know these guys should be looking at their fights. And unfortunately, you know, uh, Jonathan Rice derailed Michael Kofi. Him being a last minute replacement from for Kofi's uh, 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 initial initial fighter. The, Unfortunately, shit happens, and Jonathan Rice was able to walk away with that win. You know, Jonathan Rice, the way he fights, he reminds me of the way Lennox Lewis fights. Hands down all the time, you know, basically like inviting the fighters in, like a bait, really. Um, Doesn't really work well with certain fighters. Sometimes it works. For this fight, it worked with Michael Kofi. Kept the jab in his face, moved moved around a bit. Um, Michael Kofi wasn't really able to do anything with that. But F.A. Jabba was able to actually do something. You know, F.A. Jabba wasn't falling for none of that. You know, F.A. Jabba, he was going to touch you right back. F.A. Jabba timed, timed some of his punches correctly. He moved. He uh, utilized his uppercut. At first, I wish F.A. Jabba would have stepped more on the gas. But, you know. He he fought Jonathan Rice for a reason, you know. Get get the get the um, get the rust out because of the pandemic. I'm glad he did that. So, um, you know, my Jonathan Rice he slightly improved, but I'm still not impressed. You know, even with the way even his skills, I'm still not impressed with it. You know, like I said, he reminds me of the way Lennox Lewis fights. Um, and I think I think not all not all not all the styles. Um, can really stop your opponent, depending on who you are. But again, a win is a win, a, a, a good win against Michael Kofi, a very good win actually. You know, coming from uh, coming from his standpoint, losing so many, losing fights, but beat Michael Kofi she definitely has uh, opened some a bit of the a, be, a bit of a doorway for him. You know, fortunately, Michael Kofi, 35 years old, will will have to put the pedal to the metal, man, if he wants to fight. Honestly, if he wants to if he wants to recoup uh, what he has lost personally, but can he do it? Absolutely, man. He could do it. Anything can happen. I mean look at uh look at this guy winning the world heavyweight at such an old age. So I think he could uh, he could do it if he puts his mind to it. He's just gonna have to work extra, extra hard. But congratulations to Jonathan Rice man. Let's see what's up next for him. But besides that I have nothing else to say. Thanks, brother. I really do appreciate your take on this. Yeah, Michael Coffey can bounce back, but I don't know. At I mean, at what level he can? Like, I don't think anybody, any any of these guys, would be afraid of him. Like, some people might have, might have might have might have been a little bit afraid of him, but I don't think they will anymore like that because it just his gas tank is not good at all. You know his gas tank is not good. And that's because he, he like, how can you weigh two seventy nine pounds? You know, like, uh, for an heavyweight, I know you can weigh how much you want. You can weigh two hundred pounds on weight. There's no weight limit. But at the same time, as a fighter, you're not supposed to weigh above two uh sixty. Okay, if you are a big natural big guy, you know, like, Michael Coffey, um. They didn't grow up, you know, carrying such weights or certain stuff, because he's a he's an army veteran, okay? 
It's not like Tyson Fury who can weigh Tyson Fury can weigh two seventy and still be the same Fury, you know, or like still fluid, still good on, with his feet, still moving, you know, you know, still ducking and diving, still do, ducking and dodging uh, punches, bro. Because he's used to it, he's be like he's been doing this since he was uh, like it was a it was a little boy. I go is not like that, so I just feel like the weight was a very big uh, disadvantage, and of course, <clears throat> both of them they are you know six five six five, the same height. Um, I mean, Michael Gove, I don't know who has a longer reach. Michael Gove has a eighty three inch uh, inch uh, inch league inches league uh, 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 reach. Um, you know, like. He was to ever know nine with nine knockouts going in. Um, Michael Coffey was 13, 6, and 1 with nine knockouts as well. So, both guys you can tell have similar power structure in a way. But I felt like Michael Coffey's power uh, would have done the job a little bit. You know, he, like, he didn't fight on the inside like he, he normally does or like he did in the last fight. That's basically because. Um, you know, Jonathan Rice, he felt every Jonathan Rice punches. And this is what happens when, um, yeah, like this is a late, it was a late replacement, but regardless, you know, uh, I, in this in this case, I mean, you have to give Ajakba double credit because, like, triple credit because he fought Jonathan Rice with an injured uh, uh, elbow, you know, you know, shoulder, like, elbow injury. So, for for him to do that, and Steve was able to to, to almost knock uh, Jonathan Rice uh, Rice uh, I said Rice Rice, Rice uh, out. It shows how you know strong Ajakba really is. You know his mentality as a fighter. So we have to really give credit where it's due. And this is why you know you don't see me really uh, you know criticize Ajakba that much, other than the fact that. I know he has to work on some things. He himself, he knows that. That Jagba is a courageous man and is a guy that, as for, can fight through through uh, adversity, you know. So, we'll see how this goes. I wish Michael Coffey nothing but the best. I wish he come back and, um, you know, get, you know, like, get some wins on his record against good opponents. At the same time, I don't think these hungry lions out there you know, will be afraid of him anymore like they used to, you know. Because Michael Coffey was offered a fight, like Michael Coffey, um, um, I mean, uh, what's his name again? Uh, um, this guy right here, Jerry Anderson. So, Jerry Anderson, um, Michael Coffey wanted to fight Jerry Anderson, yeah, and Jerry Anderson, you know. Did not want a fight, you know. Jerry Jer Jer Anderson's team turned down the fight. Now, looking at it, it was wow, I wish I had fought this guy, you know. So, I guess uh, this is how it is, man. But it's just what happens, man. Uh, Jonathan Rice, um, is a D level fighter at best, D level fighter, but as a D level fighter that can actually get the best out of you you know, or upset you, you know, <laughs> if, if K is not taken. Anyway, guys, stay tuned for my exclusive background right here. This is the moment Nigerian Africa Boxing BBC, you know how it is right here. And keep supporting the channel. Keep supporting the channel. Keep supporting the channel. God bless.